my mind that the extra passive champions would be a way to play it. The Anivia, the Zac, to be able to come back after they've used all of that hard aggression. But we'll see as we yeah, all we're ride. get to see right away. I wonder if they're actually going to be able to use this brush here because it's so far off onto the yeah. side of these lanes that, you know, Thresh does have the catch potential in these ones, but it's going to be so hard to actually create any kind of kills. So this is the first time you guys at home have seen the Magma Chamber, and as you can see, it's, it's a pretty short map, as you would expect. Yeah. It's a setup for a straight dueling map. It's actually quicker to walk back to base than it is to back off. You can see, obviously, the North American team, they're trying to set up a little surprise here. <laughs> Not really working out. Surprise creeps! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Doran's start is actually kind of interesting, though, considering there's a Crystalline Flask on mistake. So any Erastic Special and Double Take, they're going to have to run back in base and go heal that stuff up. And this is something that we actually heard of yesterday from, from the, the matches that happened. Uh, Edward, was, they were trying to keep the pressure on, but you can see the, the clever people. Oh, see, he's really? back in. He, he hasn't <laughs> tested it. He can just run back quicker, but maybe he's trying to bait them. Yeah, is he really he's backing? Bait the hook. One of those recall baits. There's yeah. not much to do in between the creep waves, it seems. Already popping the flask as well on mistake, so they're just trying to keep topped off as they keep going in. The back and forth only, but we have to remember the CS count in this as well. Oh, wow, a little aggression there. That's going to make these guys have to play back. Shawi might be trying to bait something here, because if we look at the summoner spells too, it's a whole bunch of barriers and heals. Nice hard five special! Oh, there it is, mistake! He's got two blights on him! Can they get the piercing arrow? Waiting for the exhaust! The first kill comes in! Oh, no. it's going to be two right away! One last shot! Oh! Just like that, Double Lift said it himself, the strongest <laughs> partnership. Well, he's happy with that, and that really worked very well for them. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, he's like, did that just, are we done? Is it's over, over. Is, is that, that actually over, guys? Is that, is that, that, easy? Easy? that easy? Come on. Oh they are in the final now. They are in the final, North America. You have, look, at, look at the matchup right away. Aggression versus we have to wait till we get that damage, and they used it off the bat. That game was 1 minute and 47 seconds. And this, this is why I was surprised <laughs> that Varus got through, because that was one of the number one bans we saw. Shred. Because it's just, it's so strong, early level 1. It's insane. The hail yeah. of arrows, and then like you said, you got to get that long range arrow. Once you hit level 2, you are going to get sniped. And they were bringing, I think, double ignite with one exhaust and one barrier versus like heals and barriers. <laughs> And they just blew right through the heels and barriers. That kind of answers your question, What's what do you go for early game? Obviously, North America, with the double Dorans especially, too, because when they went in the straight-up fight, they just had more combat effect. And it was that flay at the start. The flay from oh, Fresh. Oh, my gosh. Set that up, no problem. Yeah. So much damage. And we thought it was a bait, right? We saw Chawi walk back. And then it was kind of like, oh, dear, wait, this is going a little more awry. And it, great play coming in from Double Lift as well. He yeah. walked off the exhaust and then fired that piercing arrow. That was rather fast, I have to say. <laughs> like.